Hello all traders, welcome to Susan FX1 channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you. I was thinking for the past couple of days how I can uh, give you the best possible video for on how you can use this Trend Finder Pro 2021 in the new version. All right, so listen up. In this video, I want you to exactly do what I do and please apply the rules as I am telling you for at least for one week to see if you get any result. Because this system that I'm talking about is very powerful, but you have to respect the rules. Right now I'm in a trade for selling GBPUSD right at this spot here. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm selling this. And if you see any possible setup like this, you can do the action. Okay, rule number one is whenever you see a move like this, that the price is going up here, going up here, and when you open your PC, you are somewhere around here in this area. Nothing of this has happened, and you are somewhere around here, and price is going up. You do not buy so ever. What is your expectation in this situation? When the price is going up, you want to sell it. When the price is going down, you want to buy it. The second question is, okay, when shall I buy? When shall I sell? In this example here, price were going up, 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 and price were here. And I was expecting to sell this market. All right. So now we are going to rule number two, which is very important. What is rule number two is like this. You look at your chart in four hourly time frame. Okay. You zoom out. What can you see? You don't consider these sections. Your aim is to this section. What, what is happening here? Because you can see here price were bullish in the range, bullish in the range, bullish in the range, okay? But here, in this week, we can see that the price went down, went up, went down, went up, went down. So we are in the downtrend in four hourly, all right? Currently. What is the next step? So we know overall that we are going down. We switch our time frame to M30. This is a rule number two. To, to watch the market in four hourly to see what is the sentiment of four hourly. Is it going down? Is it going up? Then you switch it back to M30 minute. Why? Because you want to draw your trend line to see the trend, all right? And you want to see the reactions. See. We had some reaction here. We had some reaction in this area. We had some reaction here. And here was the price. And I got it right here. But why here? I did not judge my entry on M30. Okay. What I do from here, I want to enter. I either go to M15 to find M entry point or M5. In M5, okay, we can see this nice rejection pin bar here, followed by the second one, all right, followed by the third one. All this area is telling me that it's a time for selling this. Because you know, some people in the Forex talk about Forex is gambling. Or if you do this and that, so it's not gambling. It's the trading. What I think is that whenever you do something in Forex with the real money, that there is risk involved. So you are putting your money to the risk, so you are gambling. But when are you gambling? It's only when you over leverage with the higher lot sizes and you do not have any control for your trading amount you're putting in. 
all right so the gambling and trading they are hand in hand you are trading only when you have a good risk management otherwise you are gambling so we, we do not want to talk about gambling and risk management here but see here my entry was here right now i have 11 12 peps here the thing i know is that i am aligned with the four edge direction and this is what i want to teach you in this lesson which is very related on how you can use this system all right because this is one of the rules you can apply to this system to take trade okay so let's go back again and see what happened here see i said we look at the chart in four hourly we can see the sentiment of four hourly is down yes the overall market is going up but we are interested in this section right now here the price is diving down and the sentiment is bearish here right in m30 we can see the situation all right when you switch to m30 in this picture you can use your fibonacci in this picture or in m15 too you can use a fib tool from this top to this bottom right here and price were going up and up all right you are interested to see the reaction of the price between these two levels 61.8 and 78.6 why because this is how the banks do their job they come down they give a discount they come down they give a discount they come down they give a discount so there, is, there are some sellers to sell or there are some buyers all right this is how they operate so right now everything is good let me show you another example all right on uh, the uh, euro usd yes let's have a look at the chart in four hourly okay what do i see a recent move four hourly is down if we look at for example this partial move here right here four hourly is up right here four hourly is in the range right in this section four hourly is up in this section it's almost down but gone to the range here in this section we are up in this section we are going down like here we are going down but here price hit a support and resistance here and push back up push back down right now we are going down so what we do is to change the time frame to m30 let's have a look at it we're going down you draw your trend line it's a psychological thing to know which direction you are in all right so i got in for a sell at this spot here why let's have a look at this on five minutes chart right look we had area of resistance here of support price coming down starting to go up and go to little consolidation i sold it here okay and what i use is a fibonacci tool from this top right here from this top to this bottom right here to this bottom here okay i'm interested in this leg and the retracement of this leg it's right to the pip to 61.8 sometimes this price can come to 78.6 if it passes it go to uh, 100 it's a trend change okay price can do a retest and then go higher but here everything is for the sell we are aligned with the 4h time frame direction this is what i want to teach you in this lesson this is very important try to apply this if you are having any issue difficulty with the trading apply this for one week and just focus on maximum 10 pairs not more mostly us us related pairs and try to see what you see i can show you for example gj four hourly see here what can you see here in this bed right here price actually going this way but very flat right very flat not very heavy but the direction is here that way okay and if we look at this chart 
in M30. Let's see what we see. This is the direction of the day. This is today, yesterday, the day before. This is Monday. And you can see the trend direction. We're going down. Okay. And when the 4 hourly is going down, you take action for sell in M5 or M15 when you have the right level. I use Fibonacci, right? I can use Fibonacci like this and see the move, the pullback, and the strike point. But I didn't want to get involved with the GJ because they are both strong here, right? And let's have a look at this Euro USD. It's a nice trade. I can just close this, all right? And I can close this one too. That's set, all right? And my last trade is uh, the uh, EuroCAD, which is currently over 78 peps here. I um, entered this trade yesterday and I kept it. But you know what? I will close this one too because I think I have enough peps for today. And that's it. But let's analyze this EuroCAD. If you look at the EuroCAD in H4, what do we see? H4 currently down. Don't look at here. Don't look at there. This is history. And this is history. This is the action right now. Focus on the recent action. This is the start point of the downfall. All right. We don't know when this will be over, but this is the way. What we want is to see and look at the H4 and go to and have a look at M30. You can see nicely the, the move to the downside. This is today. Not much action, but you can see the trade I took yesterday for a sell was right here. It was a big push down, retest, and then I went for a sell, right? This is what I did here. And I used the MACD and RSI to see if there is any di uh, divergence in the price. And let's check it out in M30 here. Actually, there is a divergence in the price in EuroCAD right now. I think you can see it, obviously. It's obvious, see here. Price is going this way. This is the direction of the price, but the indicators of MACD and RSI do not follow. They are going this way. They are going the opposite way, all right? And when this happens, we have a divergence in the price, and tomorrow or late this afternoon in the Asian session, this price can shoot this way up. This is what the indicator in the bottom is telling me that there is a possible turning in this pair. All right. This is how I use the MACD and other side to see if there is any divergence in the price. Okay. So, and um, I think I have covered a lot of things here. Right at this chart, I can just show you that. If I clean it, let me clean the chart here. See here. We have a, um, this is this is what you can see on your system. All right. And in M uh, H4, you have a resistance here. M30, you can see, you can just draw your trend line and when you want to catch a trade for sell you only use your Fibonacci tool top to bottom this is your strike point you can use this area to this area this is a strike point for the sell and again, from this top to this bottom here, the strike point for the sell. All right. This is how you can do it. 
when you want to be aligned with the H4 time frame. I hope you like this video and I try to cover the rules as much as I could. If you didn't understand it well, watch this video one more time to understand it better and try to apply it to your system and try to find your own signature way to trade and then you will get the success. If you like this video, thumb it up, write down in the comment section what you think about it. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe, please hit the like button, have a nice day, bye.